Hello darlings, welcome back to Caramel Latte Kiss. George here. Today I'm on a very, very important mission. I'm off to find some of the best bars in Birmingham. Luckily, it's Birmingham Cocktail Weekend, which is going to make that mission a whole lot easier. We are now just heading into the mailbox to go pick up our wristbands. Uh, apologies if I'm muffled on mask. Uh, if you're not familiar with Birmingham Cocktail Weekend, it is a citywide event. It takes place over a weekend in the summer. You buy a wristband and then there are 33 venues this year, the bearing venues, all over the city where you can go and buy one off for this weekend only, five pound cocktails. Uh, oh, in the interest of disclosure, I haven't paid for my wristbands. There's usually a tenner online. I have been gifted those by the lovely guys at Boehm Cut Weekend, but we are paying for all our own drinks. Let's go find the hub and get these wristbands. This year, the hub is sponsored by House of Suntory, who make Roku Gym, which you might be familiar with. They also do a lovely vodka and uh, their own whiskey as well. But the hub's really cute this year. Obviously, normally they have tasters, but COVID, so instead they've just made the hub bloody beautiful and an Instagram dream. So cute. All right, wristbands have been acquired. Our first stop, all the way up here. We're going to Marco Pierre White's first, which I admit is not somewhere I usually drink, but they've got a gorgeous terrace. So while the sun's out, let's do that one. is our cocktail from Marco's. Looks really good. It's got uh, Roku Gin, which, then, which makes sense because they're sponsored this year. But lemon, <coughs> excuse me, coughing. Uh, lemon cello, rhubarb, and well, something else mysterious, although I didn't actually catch what even I filmed you putting it in. So I'll have to go back and review my own footage, but it's good. It's sharp, it's lemony. It's really nice, nice and fruity. I am very pleased. And we are sat, unfortunately not by the edge. I can't show much of the view. Hopefully we'll be able to in a minute, but we are sat out of Marco's Terrace. So this is the 25th floor, this is the highest bar in Birmingham. Quite a view. Right, we're all done at Marco's and we're now on our way to Gas Street Social. We'll see what their offering is for the weekend. Next stop is the Hotel Birmingham, which a lot of people don't realise is a bar you can actually just access. You haven't got to be a hotel guest to use their bar here. It's also a good co-working spot, by the way, would recommend. Let's go see what they got on up there. So say, it's a really nice like lounge bar in here. They do coffees, alcoholic drinks, lots of nice stuff during the week. And yeah, so, and there's lots of really good points if you're laptoping it to come work too. come out of OC, AC Hotel. We're now going to head into Harvey Nichols, which is back here in the mailbox. But I thought I'd show you a little bit of this actual area. So you've got the mailbox here, and then the canal, the cube, and this little row of places here. So there are loads of little bars and restaurants here. A lot of people uh, visiting Birmingham miss all this stuff and kind of stick to Broad Street, but there are some fab places to go. Cinema, restaurants, all kinds of stuff, and the BBC. Oh, 
Trebuchard. This looks really good. So we've got lovely roku gin, rhubarb, hibiscus, a lot of good stuff in here. Mm. I was hoping I was going to get to show you a bit more of the bar, but it's all pretty much taken up by bookings apparently. So uh, we are we kind of stood hovering by this little pop-up bar they've got. But you can kind of get the idea. Very nice, you've got a bar area behind this staircase, restaurant over here, and you really don't feel like you're sitting in a shop to do it. It's a good spot. Would recommend. So, Bennett's and Harvey Nicks, good cocktail. Didn't have enough flavour that lasted. Good hit of rhubarb to start with though. But in general, I do recommend the bar in here. It's a really nice, relaxed experience. Next, we are going really far. We're going in Medicine, which they're now calling Medicine Bakery Bar, which I am here for. They have an incredible bakery in the centre of town, but they've now taken over this huge space here in the mailbox, where they have obviously a lot more room to seat diners, and they've got a separate bar area. Um, I'm, this is my first experience of drinking their cocktails, so I'm really interested to see what, they're gonna, what it's going to be like. I've heard good things about their cocktail weekend cocktail, but yeah, let's go see. for round two cocktail weekend. We're starting down the jury course this morning. I say this morning, this afternoon, it's just turned one o'clock. For Ikigai, which I've never actually been in before, so I'm looking forward to trying out. I will show it to you when we get there. It's supposed to be something light and refreshing that is about just doing and being. So, a lovely kind of liquid tea. So, again, this is um, the vodka from the, vodka from, the whiskey from the Tree, who was sponsored for the weekend, uh, their turkey, and then it's got um, uh, elderflower, cucumber, lovely light refreshing flavours. Isn't he adorable? Look how cute he is. Because of course origami requires a lot of focus and a lot of patience and concentration. And it's intricate for the work. That's my little brain friend. If you're looking for Ikigai, it's actually a little bit hidden. It is above a thousand trades. You can just see the sign for it here. So what you do is you go in the main door of a thousand trades, go into the main bar and there's a door immediately on your left hand side, all the way up the stairs. It's actually right up the top here in the roof space. That's how you find it. If you're wandering around a bit lost. For our next stop, we are heading into the Great West Arcade here in Carmel Ray. Go and check out Pineapple Cup. Just 
come out of Hotel de Van. That was a banger. It's uh, like a white chocolate grasshopper, which is basically tastes like mint chocolate ice cream. But the Bobble Lounge here, one of my favourite bars in Birmingham. Generally, we'll find me propping up the bar. I think next though, we're going to go and check out Gaucho. Gaucho is a proper lovely steak restaurant. So normally, um, not a spot I would recommend just as a bar. Often because just, they've only got. They have got some seating just for bar if you're not eating, but it does get full quite quickly. So if you're not booked. It's not always the best one, but yeah, Fab State restaurant would, rec would recommend for that. So their cocktail for cocktail weekend has got a Lafroy Risky in, which is a bit of a risky business. I'm really intrigued to see how this is going to be. That's a much more peaty whiskey than I'd go for. I've heard good things. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really good. I can taste that's a peaty whiskey, but yeah, it's nice. I like that. Moving around the corner now for Augusta Italian. See what they've got on offer for cocktail weekend. Ooh, the freeway is making the lights go crazy in there. Weird. Yeah, I promise they're not actually flashing light mental. Uh, again, nice little Italian chainy thing. Good uh, weeknight drinking here in Gusto. Again, it's always full of people from offices during the week, but generally a good effort for cocktail weekend. So in Gusto, we've got a berry iced tea. A lot of fruit going on in this one. Um, hopefully not going to be too sweet for me, but I like the idea of an iced tea. Hey guys, so yeah, I kind of just stopped filming, kind of same as I did on Friday. Um, Emma. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, filming with a little help from a special fluffy friend. <laughs> They're real mad that we're late with their dinner. Ooh. Come here. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's me for Cocktail Weekend this year. Cocktail Weekend 2021 has been ace. I really missed it last year, I really did. So it's been lovely to do something normal. What do you think? Apologies that she's got her feet on the microphone. Um, sorry if that was really loud and you could hear that rattling. Um, yeah, uh, Cots Weekend is a really, really good way to explore some of the very best of the bars of Birmingham. Um, there are some fantastic venues around the city. An event like this is a really good excuse to try some places that you've never been to before. Um, if you've enjoyed seeing any of the venues um, from this year's video, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, and well, until next time, guys, I will see you very soon. Be good. Bye. Bye from Emma. <laughs> Just walking on the microphone again. Mm.